Oh jeez! Oh, oh, there's one! There's a mouse! I'm staring at the butt of a mouse right now! Alright, well I think we can confirm that we have mice. So last night I woke up in the middle of the night around 3.30 in the morning to the sound of little feet running around in my attic. No, I don't think Beautiful OB broke into my house and is living in my attic. I think I have mice. So today, we're gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna set up mouse traps. I got my good buddy Evan coming over. We're gonna come up with a plan to get rid of these mice once and for all that are living in my attic. Rent free, by the way. This is the only entrance to my attic. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get a ladder and crawl up there. I don't even know if I could walk around up there. I've never even set up a mouse trap in my life. This is gonna be interesting, guys. All right, we're in the car. We're on our way to Home Depot to get our hazmat suits and our mouse traps. Here's my buddy, Evan. Ah. Hey, guys. Evan, uh, what experience do you have in fighting mouse infestations? Infestations? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've watched Mouse Trap a couple times. Okay, you're off to a better start than me. Um, and that is it. Okay. <laughs> We're in trouble, guys. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> All right, so we got our mouse traps. We're looking for a mask so that I can go up into the attic safely. But we got a little problem here. Here are all the masks, completely sold out because of the coronavirus, but I have an answer. Gas mask. Hazmat suit. Ready to go. All right, so we got the mouse traps. My mom actually told me that you need peanut butter to attract the mouse. Mice? Mouse? Mises. Mises, okay, that's correct. Uh, so we got Vector mouse traps. So if Vector wants to sponsor me and send me thousands of dollars, that would be amazing. I'll give you a little bit. Okay. Um, so now the key is, do mice like Skippy or Jif? We might have to make a diagram on this. I think this is one of the most important things of the entire thing, which peanut butter the mouse wants. Hmm. Well, let's see. Are they, are they both creamy? They're both creamy. Both creamy. Hmm. But this one's got a red cap. Red cap? But this one says, fuel of fun. Yeah, but choosy moms pick Jif, and it's got seven grams of protein. Guys, it's a mouth. It doesn't matter. I mean, she just doesn't get it. But fine, fine. Because I love Jif so much, and I want to eat it for myself, we're going to give the mouse Skippy. Actually, you know what? No, I changed my mind. We're gonna do one of each, and I'm actually gonna mark the mouse trap yes. J and S, and I wanna see which one it eats. That's brilliant. And that'll decide which peanut butter's better. Okay, we're gonna open this bad boy up. I've never used a mouse trap in my life. Like, I, I have no idea how to use these things. I'm kind of afraid right now. I don't even think it's on, but I'm afraid. Oh, they smell. They smell Ooh. like something. <laughs> we need All a lot right. of peanut butter. Uh, so I think you pull the mouse trap back here. I don't know how to do this, Evan. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put a little, a little um, schmear, schmear, a little schmear of peanut butter okay. over here. Okay. And I am an expert, so watch me very carefully. You pull this back. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm off to a good start. Definitely. Off to um, a good start. Okay. Uh, first things first. We got our peanut butter selection. We're gonna go with some Jif, some Skippy. We'll set them upstairs. Let's get into our hazmat suits. Do you know how cool we're gonna look in a hazmat suit? I can't wait. Well, Evan, this didn't really work out. We look freaking ridiculous right now. I think we look fresh. Well, whatever we look like, we are prepared and we are ready to take down these mice. Ready? Let's do it. Let's get a ladder and get started. Hazmat suit is giant. Like, Shaquille O'Neal could fit in this thing. I mean, you did buy a double XL. Wait, did I really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't actually look at the sizes. All right, are you ready to enter uh, zone zero? Zone zero? It, what, what do they call it? It's like. A... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you son of a nutcracker. I'm coming in to feed you peanut butter and kill you. I've never gone up here. I'm actually kind of scared. Let's go in, baby. Ugh. 
Oh jeez, I actually need <laughs> I actually need goggles. <laughs> I should have got that gas mask. <laughs> Is it that bad? There's um dust. <laughs> There's the uh Insulation. All right, so they were out of goggles and they were out of gas masks. Thank you, coronavirus. So I have to use sunglasses and this. Somebody pray for me. Uh, all right. What if this mouse comes and attacks me? I'm kind of afraid. All right, let me set this mouse trap first of all. Oh, oh, jeez. This is actually really scary. Hello? Uh, Do you want a flashlight? If anybody's here, leave me alone. I'm a good boy. I promise I'm not trying to murder you and your family. Do you want a flashlight? I don't want a flashlight. I'm good. One down! There's one down! All right. Brandon! I think that went well. What? You have a hole! A hole. Ah! I've been compromised! Oh. Somebody clean me! Evan, you gotta go up there. I'm dying. I'm dying! This is kind of freaky. Right? It's scarier than you would think. Okay. I can't be the only one that's compromised! What are you doing? Uh, oh my god! No! <laughs> now we're all gonna be zombies! We're all gonna be zombies! Brandon, it's mice, it's not zombies. Wait, these aren't zombies, were? No? No. Why did we buy these stupid suits? Coronavirus? Now we're gonna actually take a look around and see if I could see these little mice. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to see up here, but I'm looking around. This is the first time I've ever seen the inside of my attic. Hello? Anybody up here? Mouse? Anybody? Okay, this is actually kind of creepy up here. Uh, there's the one mouse trap. That one's the Skippy. Here's the GIF. Oh, I actually see mouse droppings down there. I actually see mouse droppings. Okay. Well, we definitely have a mouse up here. Hopefully, it's less than two. Oh, jeez. Uh, we got problems. We got problems. Uh, the door is caving in on me. I think the mice are revolting. Oh, okay. Okay. Ow. That's my finger. Oh. Okay. We got the mouse trap set. I saw mouse droppings up there, so I know there are mice up there. Hopefully within the next day or two, I will hear a smack, and then I'll go up there and hopefully the mice will be gone. I don't know, but this is not going well. Also, I've been compromised, so I'm gonna start turning into a zombie any second now. And Evan, he already died. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I lied. <laughs> All right, it's about 11 o'clock at night. And it seems like Jimmy and the kids just woke up for their morning stroll. They are scurrying around. I think there's more than like one or two up there, guys. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to check back in with you guys in the morning. Unless something crazy happens tonight. And we'll see what happens with Jimmy and the crew. Alright, guys. It's day two. And again, I barely slept at all. I think these mice are multiplying. I don't either that or they're just rubbing it in now. They're making fun of me. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like there's got to be at least 10 up there now. I, may, I did a little Google search and it says, A few mice in your attic might seem pretty harmless, but that's where the invasions start. Two mice have the capability of producing up to 10 litters per year, which is up to 60 mice in your attic. Really? Sam, we might have 60 mice in our attic by the end of this year. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to step it up a notch because I think the two little mouse traps that I set up yesterday aren't going to be enough. All right, so I waited a few hours for our furry friends to go to sleep. Now I'm stepping things up a notch. So the mouse traps were great. The peanut butter was outstanding. But I just ran back to the store and I bought some mouse poison. Now this stuff says it's guaranteed to kill or your money back. So if this doesn't work, I want my $4.27 back. I will be writing a sternly worded letter to Decon, or whatever their name is. But then right next to Guaranteed to Kill, it also has a big asterisk next to it. So I'm sure there's something in the fine print that says I won't get my money back. But whatever, this is supposed to work and it better work because like I said, I think there's an entire family up there now. First things first though, before we go upstairs, you're never too cool for safety. Let's get back in that hazmat suit.
All right, we're just about ready to go. But I feel like something's missing. Oh, that's right. Good to go, boys. All right, so the first step, I'm actually gonna go up there and check the mouse traps just to make sure we didn't catch any of them. But from the sound last night that was up there, the stampede of mice, I don't think we caught anything. Either that, or there's like some sort of large animal or homeless man up there because the, the, the noise that these things are creating are beyond me. I really hope these things aren't like plotting to come against me. Like what if they're gaining intelligence? What if these mice are like becoming as smart as humans and they're setting up like a Brandon trap? Like there's gonna be like a little like computer with a Baldi's Basics game on there right now. I'm just gonna walk over there and then like a clamp's gonna come down and kill me. I know that's probably gonna happen. It's very likely. Oh, I'm terrified. It's actually scary up here. Don't kill me. Oh, wait. Wait, one of the mouse traps went off, but there's nothing in it. Wait, let me get, I gotta get a flashlight. I don't know if Evan just put it in the wrong spot, but it is the Skippy one. So those of you that are Skippy fans, you might have a little claim here. All right, I have equipped myself with an industrial high level flashlight. Let's go. Oh, I just stubbed my toe. That kind of hurt. Okay. Why don't we just hire somebody? Like, that would be so much easier than this. But I am the frustrated gamer. Okay. Oh, jeez. Both of the mouse traps. Both of the mouse traps were, were snapped. Okay. I Okay, I'm going to turn my industrial flashlight off. So I got one in there. I clicked it into place. And now I just, I guess I put it up there. And hopefully this will work. I'm coming up, you jerk faces! Get out of here! Oh, oh, jeez! Oh, oh, there's one! There's a mouse! It's actually up there. What do I do? <laughs> Mommy, I need help! <laughs> I'm staring at the butt of a mouse right now. <laughs> All right, well, I think we can confirm that we have mice. You think it'll fit in here? That thing was huge. Yeah, it should do the trick. All right, um, I, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> Can we hire somebody? All right, I got my hazmat suit on. Oh, I see its freaking tail sticking out. Uh, what if he's just sleeping? <laughs> okay. Okay. I got him. Ah! All right, that's okay. We're ah! good. We're good. We're all good. He is locked up and loaded and I will throw him in the trash outside, but we're not done with our task. Now I got to go back up there. I got to put the bait in there and I got to somehow close this without getting attacked by these mutant mice. Okay. I'm just going to throw it. Oh, okay. We got that. So, ow, my finger. Oh, okay. I think that went well. Guys, it's day three of our mouse infestation. I couldn't sleep at all again last night. I mean, it sounded like they were putting on some sort of a mouse rock concert up there. I think they invited some of their friends and maybe even some of the local squirrels and raccoons to join in. Guys, I think I might call an exterminator to help me get rid of these mice once and for all. I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'm gonna have a little breakfast and get ready, but this is not going well. Control, can I help you? Yeah, um, I have a small mouse infestation up in my attic. Uh, I was hoping you guys could help me out a little bit. Okay. Uh, first name and last name. Yeah, that's a uh, first name frustrated, last name gamer. Huh? Can you spell that? Yeah, it's uh, F R U S T R A T E D, and then last name is G A. M E R. Uh, okay. What is the extent of the infestation? Uh, sir, I'm going to be honest with you. Last night, there was a, a small rock concert going up in my attic. It's pretty bad. All right. I think I can get Donato out there tomorrow. Can I get your address? Yeah, it's a completely real address that is completely not made up and completely not voiced over after the fact. Okay, it'll be about two to three hundred dollars, depending on the number of mice we find. 
two to three hundred dollars. Uh, sir, I'll I'll make a deal with you. I'll give you a hundred bucks and I'll throw in a little frustrated gamer merch and uh, maybe an autograph. Sir? Well, guys, I actually had to call the exterminator back because they thought I was faking it. I don't know why, but they finally came. It's been over 24 hours and I haven't heard the sound of mice. So I think I could finally say that there is nothing living up in my attic. <laughs>